and welcome back YouTube. This is Mr. Babs Buster here with something super cool. Today I got for you hailing from the Universal Fighting System trading card game as part of their Red Horizon series we have the Blood Omen booster box unboxing. Uh, now something from what I've learned about the Red Horizon series from what I read Apparently it's not based on any property, it's kind of something they made by themselves. Now I don't know if it's just kind of like a mishmash of uh, fighting, fighting characters from other fighting games, or if this is all original characters that they made up. I have to say, if it's all original characters, this character right here, this really cool looking uh, succubus slash demon-esque character right on the front here looks fantastic. And then over here we have this uh, almost looks like an Akuma type character. Very cool. Of course the Red Horizon logo on the front which I really really like that. It, that just looks like a video game logo right there. On this side we have this uh, almost looks to be like a demonic Yoshimitsu. And, of course, all the uh, set information on the back here, as per usual. Without further introduction, let's get into this box. I gotta say, uh, I was super excited when I seen this up for sale, because, I, honestly, I really wanted it just for that cover art right here. It just looks fantastic, and I really hope I pull that character in card form. That would be excellent. I imagine she would be a hollow uh, but ultra rare. So my hopes aren't too high, but I would still love to pull this particular character nonetheless. Oh, okay, well, I guess I didn't have to go too far. <clears throat> because we get her as a cover or a box topper and that is excellent and her name is Natal is that right N Natali Natalia very very excellent box topper. I am super excited about that. That card looks fantastic. Only downside is I really wish it was hollow. This card would look fantastic in hollow form. Alright, so that is a great way to start this particular booster box. Let's take a quick look at the particular pack art from this set. It's uh. I'm getting a very big, uh, like, Robotech vibe from this particular uh, card art here. But that could just be me. What do you guys feel? Uh, not, I, like I said, it's not so much Gundam for me, it's more of a Robotech. I never got really into the Robotech series, but I'm just getting a very big Robotech vibe from this pack art. We will start with the left side and work our way to the right side. Alright guys. Here's the back of the pack here. You take all that. Printed in the USA. Redemption point. English 10 cards. All the contact information. Very cool. I'm really excited to see the uh, characters that are in this set. So we get robots. We get like demon succubus type characters. We got an Akuma lookalike. We got a lot of fun cards that we could possibly get. Alright, so first up we have Dragon's Claw. Then we have Boundless. That's actually a pretty nice art there. Uh, Pilgrimage. Immortal Knowledge. <clears throat> Almost looks like Liu Kang. Support Fire. Uh, Arcane Assassin. Looks deadly. Ooh! Very nice. 
Oh, okay, so this set, unlike the last set that I did, looks like this rare is a hollow. That's really cool. And this particular hollow name is Overhead Heel Crush. Very nice. So our rare is toward the middle of the pack, not at the end. So quite a bit different than the previous set. Then we got Lily. I love this uh, more full art style for the player cards here. That's really nice. I like that quite a bit. Uh, Hair Trigger. And Caught in the Act. Looks like somebody was trying to... Uh, be some sort of like corporate espionage type person and they uh, completely failed at what they were trying to do. Very cool. Alright. Honestly I really hope we get some really nice uh, hollow cards, uh, player cards like that. That would be epic. I'd be very happy with, if, with some hollow player cards. Alright, so first up we have Steel Resurrection. That's actually really cool. This princess type character is kind of hopping in and trying to land the final blow before they revive themselves. Iron Wall. Uh, she almost looks like a uh, cross between Poison and Kami. Very interesting. Tombstone uh, Stunner. Is this the Undertaker? Very cool. Uh, Dagger Strike. Very nice. Lightning Vengeance. Cool. Almost looks like a uh, Blanca style combined with Guile. Dragon's Bite. Our rare. Ooh. Very cool. We got a Smite. Looks like some sort of a like finishing blow punch there, very cool. Ooh, what's this? We got an act of treason going on here, so probably uh, in a, two who are supposed to be enemies are actually in love with one another. Interesting. Concussion blast, very cool. And what's this? We have someone praying at an altar. Very cute. I gotta say, I, I would really love a hollow of Natalia there. That would be excellent. Ooh, who do we have here? We have Enlist as part of the army. That almost reminds me of a... Battleship from Kantai, very nice. Bear's Bite. Ooh. Strength in Numbers. Looks like they're at a table planning some sort of an attack. Blaze Whip, very cool. Fist of Fury, Never Stumbles, Cowboy Battery, very interesting, that is a rare, and it looks like it's some sort of a ghost ship resurrected, maybe like a Cervantes vibe. Oh, there's a robot, we got Krieger der Bergen. Some sort of German robot. Very cool. Ooh, Damnation. Starring Natalia there. That is excellent. Look at that art. That, that is some nice art there. Reminds me of uh, old style MTG art. And Focus Charge. Very cool. I gotta say, I'm really liking this set. This set is nice. Ooh, we got Iron Grit. She's probably some sort of a 
hardline commander as part of uh, the robot war there. Solomon's teachings, some sort of fire lord. Spider suplex. It's actually someone with uh, spider legs, kind of like Dr. Octopus. Very cool. Ooh, tactical advantage. It's just so ah. Uh, this looks like some some sort of like a Holland warrior, and this looks like a, a cowboy. Just so odd the mishmash there. Death Valley face plant. <laughs> that man sounds a lot like the Undertaker there, man. Sounds like something that he would have done back in the day. Mechanical genius. That is pretty cool. Ooh, the Thousand Souls of Hell. Very nice. Looks like he's being uh, unleashed. Or he's unleashing all the souls. Just so epic. Almost like a Shang Tsung type attack. Very nice. Damnation again. I, this card is... The art is just perfect. I really like this card. Uh... Morathi? Is that how you say his name? This Akuma-looking guy? Morathi? Very interesting. Once again, would have loved to have this in Hollow, though. And, uh, a stinging upper. Not an uppercut, just a stinging upper. Very nice. That wasn't a UR, was it? Oh, okay. So the Thousand Souls of Hell was a UR. Okay, apologies about that. They have the exact same holo pattern. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. But I can't complain too much because every pack does contain a holo, which makes it much harder to scale if you were to separate these packs uh, individually. Alright, so up next we have Mine Trigger. Looks like she's in the trenches and just avoided a mine. Very cool. Uh, Chained Gyro Gash. Oh, that's a hard one to say ten times fast. Sense of Adventure. We have ourselves Aspiring Adventurer. Very cool. Channel Lightning Wave. Very nice. Double Axe Handle. Uh, twin Cyclone, very cool. Like that one quite a bit. Hellgate Ex Executioner. Oh, that's a that's a UR as well. Very nice. And of course we have a uh, Natalia leading the char. Or looks like she is actually the ex Executioner. So that is epic. Characters with size. I always liked. I've always liked the succubus design. This character is like. My perfect uh, uh, character design type. Very, very epic. We got Alice. Very cute. Uh, Artful Imposter. And Grand Lancer. Lancest. Looks like she's in some sort of sewer there behind her. Very interesting. So we got two ultra, we got two ultra rares back to back. That's uh unexpected. I'll take it though. We got the Valkyrie and the Cowboys tactical advantage. Know your objective. So every screen is showing him his target. Very interesting. Humanities Sentry. Interesting. <clears throat> Support Fire. Spider Suplex. That, that card's really cool. Wafer Bolts. Ooh. Deliverance. That's just a rare. That looks like it should be a UR. Very at, uh, excellent card there. The Stinging Upper. Caught in the Act. 
and Celestial Being. <laughs> Once again, I love the background on this card. Th these cards have some excellent, excellent art. I really do like them quite a bit. I gotta say, this set so far has been pretty worth the uh, investment in it. I like it quite a bit. So up next we have the Steel Resurrection, the Iron Will, Tombstone Stunner, Dagger Strike, whoop, revealed the rare, darn. A Lightning Vengeance, Dragon's Strike, ooh, War of Armageddon. She looks so sad. Interesting. Very nice rare. Ooh, that's a nice uh, character card there, Zoe. Looks like some sort of a dancer-esque character. Dancing, or a bl like a blade dancer. Damnation. Man, I'm getting a lot of copies of this card, and I'm okay with that because, once again, I love the art of that card. An Artful Imposter. I don't know what an Artful Imposter is. That just sounds odd to me, I guess. Ooh. That's a new one. We got Phantom Driver. Some sort of a ghost activating the pile driver. Enlist. Death Valley's Face Plant. That just sounds so like an Undertaker move from back in the day. Arcane Assassin. Dragon Slayer. Very cool. Uh, strafe. Strafe Shot. So she's running while shooting. Very interesting. Uh, worn from Battle. That wasn't a... where was it? No, okay. Worn from Battle is our rare. Looks like he ha got a little bit wounded. Ooh, that's... that's a great character card there. We got Heidi. She looks PO'd too. I mean, look at that scowl on her face there. She doesn't look happy. It's like she's in the middle of eating dinner. You was, you uh, commenced an assault on on her fortress, and she had to get up well from her dinner and be like, oh, "I have to deal with this." Very very cool. Valiant assault, an act of treason. Don't often see uh, romance in a lot of card games, so that's pretty interesting. Or maybe she put some poison lipstick on and it's kissing the cat. I'm not 100% sure. We got the uh, confusing Valkyrie and Cowboy mashup of Tactical Advantage. Know your objective. Humanity's Sentry. Support Fire. Spider Suplex. Uh, water Boils. Okay. It does once it hits the certain temperature. That's very true. Ooh. Ooh. This one looks cool. We got Bloody Baptism. That is indeed a UR. I figured it would be. That card. Look at that heart. It just looks really, really cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. Then we got Kirigur der Bergen, the robot. Oh wow, that's uh, whew. don't know if I could show that one or not. And silence. This is actually the uh, cover card from the previous set, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Up next we have Dragon's Claw, Self-Resurrection, whoa that's a long title, The Hunt for Spiders and Dragons. 
Interesting. I'm not sure who's the hunter and who's the hunted there. We got Lightning Javelin. That's actually a really cool kick. Bear's Bite. Would you turn into a werebear? Huh, that'd be pretty interesting. General of the Abyss. That's just a really cool card name. Uh, Herald of... Germania? Hmm. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like German? Interesting. That is a rare. Uh, concussion Blast. Focus Charge. Whoop, sorry about that. And Knee Capper. Ooh, going straight for the knees. That's dirty tactic, but effective tactic. So up next we have Phantom Driver, Enlist Today, Death Valley Faceplant, Arcane Assassin, Dragon Slayer, uh, Strafe Shot, our rare is Reclaiming What Is Ours, very cool looking rare, looks to be a, uh, a guy that's uh, pretty... Almost reminds me of a great teacher, Onizuka, when he was younger in the anime. Very cool. Ooh, we have Reese. Another player card. That's awesome. The knee capper going for the knees. And the unholy prophecy. <laughs> wow, that's a three-headed giant elephant man? Interesting. Would not expect that to be an enemy, but it is here. I would assume that Elephant Man is a boss or something. <sighs> Alright guys. With this, we have hit the final pack on the left-hand side. It's unfortunate, but true. I gotta say, I'm really liking this set so far. I, the, I enjoy this set much more than the uh, King of Fighters set earlier. I don't know, just the original art is much better. Fighting on multiple fronts, very cool. Blaze Whip. Interesting technique. Uh, Summoner, or Solomon's Teachings. Tamit. What? Timothy Wangai? Ta Tamati Wangai? Is that how you say that? Very interesting. Pilgrimage. Dragons. Our Dagger Strike. Our rare from this pack. Ooh, that's a really cool looking rare there. Is Living Pendulum. Almost reminds me of uh, that automatic machine from... Uh, uh, Dead or Alive, like the final boss from Dead or Alive 4. Or no, the, the, it, it's like the, uh, I think it was the clone of Kasumi. Very cool. Focusing Charge, Showdown, and the Wild West. Very cool. And Ulrich. Very, very cool. Looks like he has Fist of Thunder. All right, guys, on to the right side. I'm really hoping to pull a character ultra rare. If there is some in this set, that would be excellent. We got in list, very cool. Bear's Bite, Strength in the Numbers, Blaze Whip, Fist of Fury, Never Stumbles, Up in Smoke, that's actually Looks like the uh, beginning to uh, RPG. We got the kneecapper. 
Psychic Upper, and Celestial Being. Once again, I love this card art. Very, very excellent. Up next, we have the Human or Humanities Sentry, uh, Strafe Shot, God of War, but not the God of War that you know, Lightning Javelin, Formidable Task. Looks like she's showing her uh, wanted poster of someone incredibly tough. Ooh. Fighting on multiple fronts. Ooh, that's a cool looking rare. Just to double check, yeah. Our rare is Ancient Knowledge. Very cool, I like that quite a bit. We got the Giant Robot. Valiant Assault. And Peaceful Messenger. Very cute. That's adorable. She's trying to contact the kitties there. This pack feels special. This pack feels like it has something really good in it. I don't know. It just feels I just feels like it does. Okay, I want to make sure I didn't leave any cards in there. So we got Dragon's Claw, been a while since we got that one. Bo uh, Boundless, Pilgrimage, Immortal Knowledge, very cool. Support Fire, Arcane Assassin. Uh, we got Jaggered Barrage, that is an ultra rare. Not gonna lie, when I first saw it I thought I got a duplicate of this one. Looks a little bit similar in art. Very cool. You can see the smirk on that guy's face right there. We got Focus Charge, Hair Trigger, and Act of Treason. Very cool. So, what's your guys' favorite card from this set so far? Oh man. I have to go with the box topper. That box topper just can't be beat for me. And then uh, Damnation would probably be second so far. Just such an excellent art. We got a new alliance. I think that's the first one I pulled of that. <clears throat> Sliding ankle breaker. Oh man. Going for the first you go for the knees, then you go for the ankles. Oh man, you are one wicked person. We got the Callus Leader. Iron Knuckle. This, these are all like new cards. She's beating up some sort of like old gangster person too. Ooh, Dark Sight from the box art. That's excellent. We got the Phantom D Driver. And our rare from this pack is Gaining Ground. Very nice. Ooh, Meleen is uh, uncommon. Knee capper going for those knees, man. How many how many people is that now? Five, six people you just knock the knees out of? And the hair trigger. Don't want to get on somebody's bad side that has a hair trigger. Probably won't end well for you. We got Human Sentry, the, the Strafe Shot, the God of War, but not the one you know, Lightning Javelin, Formidable Task, Fighting on Multiple Fronts, our rare is The Abyss. This art is just really cool. Uh, that, uh, I mean, just look at it. It's so cool. We got that card. 
Ooh, Satoshi. Very nice. And my blood throws, flows through you, a card that I really don't want to show the art of. This set has some amazing art so far. Not a huge fan of some of the URs though, which is odd as far as art goes. But the rares, commons, uncommons have some wicked awesome art. We got the Choke Throw, Trusted Keeper. Man, these are new cards. Kerk. <laughs> okay, that that's a great card name there. Kerplat. <laughs> he just this character just literally uh. Splats a pumpkin over this guy's head. Very interesting. <laughs> it's hilarious. Dragon Slayer. General of the Abyss to go with the Abyss. Very nice. The Hunter of Spiders and Dragons. Our rare is the Wolf Bane. That's just a rare. I would want that to be an ultra rare. That card looks excellent. Look at that card. Silence! Psychic Upper, and the Celestial Being, once again with some excellent, excellent art. Just love it. We got a new alliance that has been formed. The sliding ankle breaker. Oh man, those ankles. Poor knees and ankles, man. Poor knees and ankles. We got the Callus Leader. Iron Knuckle Joe. The Dark Sight. Once again, I love that art. Phantom Driver. The Cursed Embodiment. That is an ultra rare. That guy looks like from a... Oh, what is it? Almost reminds me of Heavy Metal 2000. We got the Concussion Blast. Spirit of the Wolf. Oh, that card just looks so epic. And the... What? The Unworthy of... Zalmoxis? Zalmoxis, is that right? The Unworthy of Zalmoxis. Very cool. Alright guys, if the six Ultra Rares hold true, we should have one more left. I'm really hoping it's a uh, Ultra Rare uh, character card, but you know what? With, with, with the way that some of these cards have been, I will take almost anything because this set has been excellent. I'm super impressed by this set so far. So up next we have Chains. Or chained gyro gash sense of adventure the channel lightning wave channel lightning that sounds like a good name for a YouTube channel twin cyclone stop is our rare very cool rare ooh we got the giant robot Oh, a card that I don't want to show the art of. My blood throws flu my blood flows through you. Sweet nothings. The succubus, of course. Being betrayed. And the mind trigger. Now this was a common. I accidentally moved it to the back. Alright, we are getting almost at the end of this box. Uh, goes by so fast when you're having fun. Choke Throw, Trusted Keeper, Ker Platt, <laughs> just such an awesome name. Dragon's Slayer, General of the Abyss, 
the Hunter of Spiders and Dragons. Our rare is Forward March. Very cool. We got the Giant Robot, the Unholy Prophecy, and Showdown at High Noon. Very cool. I gotta say, this, this set is just epic. I love it a lot. This pack feels like it has something epic in it, guys. I think we might have the ultimate pack. I don't know why, I just feel like something's good here. We got the Dragon's Claw, the Steel Resurrection, the Hunter of Spiders and Dragons, Lightning Javelin, Bear's Bite, come on, General of the Abyss, what is this? Cannonade? Can on aid. Can on aid. Kind of like Kool Aid, but for cannons, I guess. That is an ultra rare, so I'm guessing that's probably our last ultra rare. Not the way I'd like to go out on, but I can't complain because we got some excellent rares and commons and uncommons. Hey, the cannon aid to go with the giant robot. We got the giant robot. Good or evil, I think that's our first one of that. And caught in the act. Very nice. So we got two packs left. I don't think we will get any more hollows, but... I mean, any more ultra rares, I mean. But I have to say the uh, rares we got were pretty dang good. Not complaining about those. Ultra rares, as far as art goes, could have been better, but... Can't complain too much about the uh, that because... The commons and uncommons are excellent for the most part. So we got the Kaulus Leader, the Strength in Numbers, Chained Gyro Gash, Fist of Fury, Vanished Brother, I think that's the very first one of those, interestingly enough. Twin Cyclone, our rare is Clash of Colossals, so two giants going at one another, very cool. Spirit of the Wolf, I love this card. Unworthy of Zymoxis, or Zalmoxis, sorry, and Good or Evil, huh, two in a row. Alright guys, last pack. Do we have any last pack magic in this Robotech style image? I don't know. Maybe. I, I would like to think we would. Alright guys, so just so I don't accidentally spoil it, I'm going to put the last rare card to the side over here. Because that should be it, three from the back. Just so I don't happen to spoil it. Actually, I'm going to move it here. That's why I don't uh, have to bury it. So our last pack starts with Fighting on Multiple Fronts, The Blaze Whip, Solomon's Teachings, Tamati Wangai, Pilgrimage, Dragon's Strike, Misaki, that's actually a really nice uh, uncommon, Psychic Upper, and Stinging Upper. So we got two different uppers in the last pack. Will that mean that this last card is an upper? Hopefully it's not a downer. Alright guys, last rare of the box is... Ooh. Death Seal of the Apocalypse. Almost looks like some sort of like Anubis type character getting chained up there. Very, 
very cool. All right, so that was the booster box. Let's go and take a recap at all the cards we got. You know what? We'll take a look at the Ultra Rares first, because I like the Rares a bit more as far as art goes. So for Ultra Rares, we got Cannonade, the Final Crusade, or Final Cursed Into Entonement, the Jagged Barrage, the Bloody Baptism, the Hellgate Executioner, probably my excellent, excellent card there, and A Thousand Souls of Hell. Very uh, demonic theme through that. And then for our rares, we got Death Seal of the Apocalypse, uh, Clash of the Colossals, Forward March, Stop! Wolfbane, excellent art. The Abyss, another excellent art card. Uh, Gaining Ground, Ancient Knowledge, another card I really like. Uh, Up in Smoke, Living Pendulum, Reclaiming What is Ours, Herald of Germania, uh, Worn from Battle, War of Armageddon, Deliverance, Cowboy Battle, Cowboy Battery, Smite, and Over, or Overhead Crush, Overhead Heel Crush. And of course, <clears throat> our box topper, Natalia. Overall, I have to say this was an excellent excellent booster box opening. I loved most of the art. I mean, the commons, uncommons, rares, box topper, and even the ultra rares were just all around just great for the most part. I definitely, definitely recommend this set if you like uh, really, really cool art. Well, enough of that. This is Booster Box Buster opening up a booster box from the Universal Fighting System, Red Horizon, Blood Omen, Booster Bat Set, signing out.